Hey folks, this is part 4 of the video series about the Neptune 4 upgrades. In the previous videos we have printed several of these cable chains and built these stabilizers. Because my belt was very loose, I also installed two of these belt tensioners, which helped fixing that problem. And among many other things, I showed how to easily connect a webcam to the printer and connect it to Wi-Fi to use Clipper. And last time we made this spool holder that runs smoothly on ball bearings. I want to use this to print very soft TPU, and that's exactly what we're doing today to print us some nice non-slip feet for this display holder. Because with all the upgrades, there is now no more room to attach the display onto the printer. And I can't live without that. But before we start, a quick word about the sponsor of the video. PCBWay. PCBWay offers a wide variety of different manufacturing processes. Not only can they make you PCBs, but they can also manufacture all kinds of parts through CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrications and even injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file and immediately see how much it will cost. You have many options to choose how and from which material your part should be made. They even offer metal 3D printing with different materials like aluminum, titanium and even tool steel, which I find very interesting and I definitely will use this for future projects. Back to the video. At first I planned to use this cable hider as a display stand, but I soon realized that this would be very fragile, and then I found this model from Christian. It is available in two different versions. The one I have printed is assembled with screws. The other version works without screws and can be glued together. I print this part with Polyterra's Marble White PLA, which I have used for all other modifications on this printer. Now that the PLA parts are printed, I want to print the TPU feet to make them as slip resistant as possible. For this I use this Gray Fiberflex 30D from Fiberlogy. As you can see it is really soft and stretchy, which is probably good for slip resistance. In the slicer, I first had to orient the feet correctly and then adjust the settings for this filament. I selected the generic TPU setting on the Eligu Cura, changed the layer height to 0.2 and the flow to 105%. I leave all other parameters at default. The print speed is set to 50, which was a bit on the fast side. The only thing I change is to remove the brim, as this filament has an almost too good bed adhesion anyway. It sticks like hell. I load the filament directly into the extruder and do not pull it through the runout sensor. I just put a piece of filament in so that it doesn't trigger. The sensor would add a certain amount of resistance and stretch the filament on its way to the extruder. This can also happen if the filament spool does not unwind easily, which is why I use this smooth running spool holder from last video. Nice! The two tracks printed well and without any problems. But the bed adhesion is that good, that I had to heat the bed up to 100 degrees Celsius after printing to get the parts off the plate. Once everything is printed, you need four of these M4 screws to assemble the PLA parts. I do this with this electric screwdriver, because the holes are quite narrow and it takes some effort to get the screws in. I wouldn't like to do it by hand. Although some experts claim that it is possible. Looking good maybe a bit overkill, and probably the most stable display holder I've ever used. The tracks for the feet have different lengths for the left and right side. I use this shoe glue from AliExpress to attach them. I didn't know it at the time, but I can now say in retrospect that it sticks well to both PLA and TPU. And it smells nice and strong. I fixed the parts with those clamps for one hour until the glue was dry. And if the camera wouldn't lose focus here, you could see that it looks really great. To attach the magnetic bracket, you can reuse those three screws that previously attached the display to the printer. It's a tight fit once again, and I use the electric screwdriver for that as well. And there you have it. After all the upgrades we've made, there's now again a place where you can put the display. This time it was just a short video, but in the next one I will show you something more complex again. It's not exactly an upgrade for the printer, but it's very useful for organizing your 3D printing tools. And it's not Gridfinity. Can you tell what it might be? Write your guess in the comments and win. Nothing. But you should subscribe to the channel anyway, especially if you don't want to miss this. I promise next time will be better. And I'll see you there.